Hi friends, uh, uh, after a long time, uh, got some time off today and uh, decided to um, come up with a video. I get a few requests, uh, quite a few requests these days to talk about the reuse feature. So I thought about um, to create a series of topics uh, which probably would be quick short time videos on let's say text insert, snippet, conditional tags and all that thing. So I'm going to talk about snippets today in RoboHelp which is a very powerful software uh, when you are planning to actually author content or edit content and publish HTML content to various topics for that matter. And now one of the features which is very popular in RoboHelp is Snippet, um, which allows you to use the source content to multiple documentation outputs, uh, multiple topics uh, for that matter. And you can update the source content and get to see in the container topics the information that you have updated. So the base content uh, is where we will concentrate, what we are going to call it source content. And the container topics are the ones which will reflect um, the content that we are going to work on. Now, the videos that I create generally are not that very professional in a sense that I don't spend time to actually, you know, use layout and callouts and all that. So I hope uh, you like the video and if you find it useful and if you want to get in touch with me, then you can uh, drop us an email at uh, training at uh, bluedotsconsultancy.com or, uh, you know, contact us on training at bluedotsconsultancy.com or bluedotsconsultancy.com. The numbers and contact numbers are, will be given on the website itself. Now when I come over here, the first thing is I'm using a RoboHelp 2019 version. I go uh, to RoboHelp author pane and I click on snippets the snippet pod appears and what you do is that you can create as many snippet so you click on the snippet thing it opens up now go and give it a name here so you call it snippet underscore one and give a description so let's say for my uh, youtube videos or something like that for my youtube videos and you click the create button the snippet comes up now you can use text you can use an image you can use uh, a table, whatever you feel like. So for this training purpose, I'm just gonna write something here, for example, and uh, write here, for example, snippet um, uses. And then I go here and say, the following are the uses of snippet, or uses for snippet, or following are the users of snippet and then you can write down one or two now the moment I write it make sure you save the content go to my first topic and um, you know uh, this this particular thing I had already created and applied it in this thing so snippet users you see this content go to my second topic and I decide to use the snippet over here click over here snippet select snippet so it is here these are non-editable right now that means every time you click on this snippet for that matter it is non editable you can you will it will you cannot edit anything over here now I go back to my snippet here and let's say we use an image here for that matter so click on this and uh, you can probably search for the content or you have a local file you want to use it or a web link so you can insert an image whatever you want to do it let me also write something so i write here let's say um, this is use for uh, using content in pardon for my spelling mistakes in multiple topics and all that we wrote this content and save it now you go back to your first topic immediately you see this content gets reflected over here that is in the first topic and also in the second topic it comes open and it is not required that you have to keep the topic open for example if I just close the second topic and the first topic also and make more changes to it like for example now in snippet one um, and then you can sort of like let's say um, customizing content for plants save it now if you go here go back to your content and open it see here customizing content for plants appears over here so simple feature so if you're thinking about you're going on a vacation for that matter or you're on a leave and you tell your friend that this is my base topic that is snippet whatever changes you are making 
you just make it over here and if the content is getting reused in multiple topics they just need to update the base content and all the other places in the content that is the continued topics will get updated very very useful feature it enhances productivity it will also reduce a lot of work that you want to do it now let's say some sometime you decided that okay i don't know i no longer want to use the snippet okay let's say in this first topic you say that look uh, or in the second topic for that matter i don't want to use snippet anymore i want to remove the snippet so generally we are working we are working on robo help so if you're working in robo help by default you are creating html topic and html content so what you do here for this particular thing is just going over here select this or uh, for that matter and all and just go to snippet and you sort of like often it happens with me <laughs> that when i'm creating a video it ends up with some issues like this and all so generally uh, so i'm just trying to see so snippet ha huh. so it opens up you will see something like convert to html text so what you do is when you say remove obviously snippet will be removed but the entire content with snippet gets removed i don't want that i want to convert it to an html text so click on this so now the snippet has been removed the html text is there but the snippet has been removed now if you go here but first topic still has a snippet remember now if you go to snippet one and you write here i have removed the content or i have removed yeah i have removed the content uh, for snippet one i do it in real time that's why you know certain times of snippet two let's let us check it now and uh, save it now if you go to your first topic you still see the content that has been updated so first topic shows the snippet features that we have when i go to snip second topic i don't see the content right so that means because you have removed the snippet that you had used in the second topic it does not show the changes that you have made made in the source or base topic only the first topic shows so if you want to get back the second topic snippet there is no reverse process you have to again insert a snippet thing so i hope you like the video and uh, if you want to know more about snippet and technical writing please reach us on our website bluedogsconsultancy.com email us on uh, i'll just write it down again training training at bluedogsconsultancy.com uh, and uh, um, you know you can also reach us on uh, bluedogsconsultancy.com and the phone number will be there thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed and you learned something